It's all football on this edition of Game Face with our good friend, the sports addict, Gary Finout, as we talk about an exciting week in pro and college football, starting with the Dolphins' surprising win over the New York Jets. The Wildcat is for real, and I think it's here to stay, Gary. Oh, wow. Without a doubt. I just, uh, I mean, that game, that game was just amazing. Uh, who would have thought that they would have taken apart that defense the way they did? Chad Henney. What defense? Looked fanta- <laughs> exactly. talking about the Jets defense? Well, they Overrated. were. Overrated. Unproved. Five touchdowns in the last quarter, three of them by the Finns, including the winner with six seconds left. you got to love this Dolphins team. Well, what, what, what I loved about this team is that everybody contributed. Chad Henney contributed. We finally saw a big pass play by Ted Ginn Jr. And, of course, Ricky Williams, phenomenal, along with Ronnie Brown, of course, the master of disaster and with Pat the White. Wildcat. We even saw Pat White in there. We saw Pat White that. in there, a couple of plays. But the whole point is everyone contributed. And, I mean, it's a unique experiment. But, hey, if it works, it works. You know what? And Rex Ryan getting all these rays for the great defensive mind he is. They couldn't figure out what to do. What do you stop? How about Chad Henney, essentially a rookie quarterback. Second start, he's 2-0. and this guy's got the magic touch. Well, he's got the magic touch. There are a lot, a couple of really good passes, especially that long one to, uh, to Ted Ginn for the touchdown. Uh, I mean, I'm still wondering if he can get this rhythm going and coming in, coming out. But I guess if you don't, if you don't know it, then you don't miss hey, it. Dolphin fans everywhere now believe in this young guy, Chad Henney. It's his team now, along with the whole Wildcat operation. And the amazing thing is to go from the sidelines back into the huddle and engineer a winning drive in and out, in and out. He's their quarterback. Well, right, yes, it, at this point in time he is, and, and I just, I think, but I, to me, I mean, I, I still think, I mean, to me, Ronnie Brown is obviously He's the, heart. the center. He's the heart of the Absolutely. offense right now. All right, let's go on to the other uh, teams in, in the state. Uh, while the Dolphins are 2-3, and three, they've got a lot of hope on the horizon. Jaguars took a beat down, and the Bucks still winless. People starting to wear bags over their heads in the stands in Tampa Bay. Well, the... The Jaguars game was just embarrassing. I don't know any other word for it. I mean, it's one thing to lose, but to lose 41 to nothing. It was a drubbing. And here's what I'm going to say, Ron. Uh, uh, here's the one good thing. It couldn't get worse, could it? Well, what, what, what the situation is is that I think we have to acknowledge that right now both Raheem Morris, who's only in his first year, and Jack Del Rio have got to be on the hot seat. They are going to be feeling it for sure. the rest of the season if they don't turn things around. I mean, the problem with the Jags is it just comes down to the fact that that offense is inconsistent. Well, if, if they're on the hot seat in Tampa Bay, someone's got to be ready for a lethal injection at 0-5. Well, right, and I, I just don't know. I mean, how do you go uh, winless in the NFL well, today? I, well, the good thing is, the good thing for both of them is they have two teams coming in who aren't that good. Tampa gets Carolina, and they've been playing so-so. And the Jags, they get the gift of the St. Louis Rams. So at least hopefully for this upcoming weekend, well, there'll be at least a little bit of good news. Let's segue into the college ranks where, excuse me, sports addict Gary Finout. I don't think I introduced you at the top of the show because you should be ashamed of yourself. I'm not ashamed of myself. Picking LSU over the Gators. Besides the fact you owe me a lunch, you are wrong again. The big L on your forehead. Uh, I'm wrong for this week. I will tell you this oh, right now. stop. You're such a Gator hater. I'm not a Gator hater. Ron, this team is not playing like a number one team. You know they why? Will not go, they will not go undefeated. When they play they Alabama in the play. SEC championship game, I think you'll see them peaking at the right time. Uh, well, maybe be. But, but the point is, is that offense is struggling. Of course, now Tebow's coming back from the concussion. But I'm just telling you right now, it is the defense that's been keeping them in games against teams Gary, that should have been blowing Gary, out of the water. You know what this is? It's a W. And you know what we got? Five of them. But let's go to Tallahassee, yeah, to Florida really State, count. where too far, too far, 2-4 is the record of the somewhat woeful Seminoles, so the offense looks great. Well, the offense did look amazing uh, this past weekend. I mean, they, they scored nearly at will, except Christian late Ponders, in the game. terrific. He's really a gamer. Counted. No, he is a gamer. I, I, I think we can... Too bad he didn't have a defense to back uh, up that well, offense. Well, I mean, the point is when you have to onside kick early in the game because you're afraid to give the ball back, then that's just a sign that things are really, really desperate. And that's what it was. I mean, they had the nice little thing with Bobby coming out with the team, and, and there was a sign of unity, and, and I appreciate all that. But the fact of the matter is, is that if this defense doesn't stick, just get it up a little bit of a notch, this is going to be a really painful, right. painful and, season. And quickly, uh, the Miami Hurricanes, obviously an expected win over Florida A&M, a money game for Florida A&M. Now in the top ten again, they are a real force to be reckoned with this season. Yeah, and, and go ahead, and then they have a game against UCF. I, I don't, I, I mean, they should win that one. So, I mean, as far but, as we can tell, good things ab- uh, uh, 
in the future for them. Speaking about UCF, how about the game of the week in college football if you're a Florida fan? USF versus Cincinnati, two Big East undefeateds. How are you going to call well, it? Well, South Florida versus Cincinnati. I, well, hey, I'm going with the Bulls. I mean, I mean, they've just they have been proving everyone wrong, and hey, they could do it again this week. Well, Gary, for one time, I agree with you. I think the Bulls will prevail, and we'll have two undefeated teams among the college ranks in Florida. Gary, how about a final word for anybody who deserves a penalty flag this week? Well, no. How about no penalty flag? How about no just, penalty flag? You mean? No, no, no penalty flag. What I was just going to urge people: Hey, get on, uh, get on www flsportsfan.com and vote in our polls and, and watch the videos and come to the site. And my buddy Gary Feinout, the sports addict, thanks for joining us and for all the deserved abuse you take. And I'm looking forward to that lunch thanks to my Florida Gators. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go to flsportsfan.com for the latest sports news. I want to and we'll see you next time on Game Face.